Wow, that was random. Sorry about the delay, folks. Uh, we'll get this bus trouble fixed and be on our way soon. Thank you so much for dropping us off, Say. You have been super duper helpful. Except for when he hit a pole and almost killed us. Oh, that wasn't his fault. Yeah, it's not like the pole jumped in front of the bus. Shut up, Logan! I'll be right back. Y'all stay warm out here. Now, what should we do? I have snacks if anyone's hungry. Whoa, that guy can sleep anywhere. He was asleep all the way from St. Louis to Kansas City. You look like a writer. I'd even go as far to say a gamer. Why would you say that? I noticed you were writing on the bus. Stalker alert. No, no, um, I'm a detective at the KCPD, and I just, I'm observant. Wow, a detective? How delightful! I bet you have some great stories. How many dead bodies have you seen? Logan! Sorry. I've seen my fair share of things. Half a lot, hey! Ooh, I'd love some new ideas. You can use this bag of magic dust. Okay, let me tell you a story about when everything went completely wrong. Very hungry heist. You have to be quiet and stealthy. Try not to let anyone see. Sorry, I had to get in somehow. Quick, hide. It's very hard. Is this a library? Oh, there, that silly little caterpillar goes eating that apple. Axel, you moron. Is this a library? Yes. We're supposed to get the location of the city museum. Don't you remember the mission? Nope. 
It was to steal the ritual jars of Egypt, valued at two million dollars. Do you see any ritual jars? Nope, but I see the exit. <sighs> okay, the museum must be the next street over. If we do this right, we can still blend in. Oh, hi there, laddies. Can I help you with anything today? No, we're good, thanks. All right, you then. You two have a lovely day. Ugh, librarians give me the creeps. Oh, uh, there's that kind of filly goes. Eating all that food. Now he's going to. What's wrong with you? The caterpillar's eating. people. What? book bombshell. Don't say my name. We need to get to the museum before anything. Now look what you're lumping hands and brought us too. It's a good book. Freeze, put your hands in the air. <coughs> what kind of library is this? <laughs> These two match the description of the artifact thieves. Carl. Right you are, Sindak. Cuff them. It's super nice meeting you, officer. I'm so glad I get to be here. Shut up. Nobody likes you, criminal. Well, you know, I actually really enjoyed this. This has been a really very, very nice. I'm very happy to be here. I'll be here all week, I, I think. Hey, do you like dancing? Yes. What a delightful story, dear. I was not expecting that. I was. Come on now, I told my story, how about you? Uh, okay, I don't know. My stuff is a little weird. I'm really into Dungeons and Dragons, so most of my stories are like that. Oh my, Dungeons? How terrifying! Yeah, you got my attention. Me too! I'm in neutral evil alignment. Okay, yeah, I can tell you this story about this insane monster hunter and this witch. It's called Hunting Twilight. Who's asking? <clears throat> I have a job prop. Not interested. Ma'am, if I may. I am not interested. Ma'am, maybe if I informed you of the job details, you'd change your mind. Leave me alone, please. It pays, and from that hunter's mark on your wrist, I know people like you love shiny things. Okay, give me the information. Twyla Foster, a witch, responsible for multiple famines and mass genocides across the country. She's supposed to be hiding out deep in Waywood Forest. She's considered highly dangerous and possesses great magic. How much? You got yourself a deal. What the? Whoa, pump the brakes, Miss Rogue Lady. I'm a fighter, not a rogue. Who are you? This is my forest. I should be asking who you are. My name's Styx, the Elf Ranger. I'm Helena Everhaven. <gasps> Helena Everhaven? The monster hunter? Yeah, I'll be out of here by morning. You won't even know I was here. Hey, wait, you're going off to Twyla, aren't you? How did you know that? She uh, took someone very important from me. Hey, I'm sorry. You said these were your woods? I could use someone of your skill on this quest. Really? I can come with you? She's up there! I see it. Who dares break the witch's seal and open my door? Please, Thix, I said I was sorry. What else do you want from me? Wait, Thix, you know her? A tripping What in the name of Hades is going on? Who are you? I'm the one who was sent to kill the witch that ruined this country. I may be a witch, but I didn't kill those people. Then who did? 
Where is it? I know you have it! Even if I told you, which I never will, you won't be able to cast the spell. I once was a monster hunter too, you know. How did you know? Someone with the mark of a hunter could open my door. That's probably why Six hired you. Wait, he was the one in the hood? He, he was the one who hired me? He wants my spell book so he can bring back his dead brother. River died while we were fighting in a Drago Lich, but I told Stakes we can't bring him back. It's too late. Enough of this. Where's the book? Don't tell him. She has no choice. The book of shadows can be summoned with the words Liber, Liber Blare. Blare. Really bad. It's okay, the shadow's here. No room before. What is that thing? It protects me when I've been compromised. What is it doing? What it was created to do. Shadow Destroyer! What did you mean it was too late to bring Stixie's brother back? What did you mean? Brother. Pretty crazy story, right? That was phenomenal. I knew you were a writer. I still have chills, dear. Oh man, I had all the popcorn. Wow, you two sure know how to tell decent bedtime stories. Bedtime stories? Young man, that was an important case in my department. It took me a whole month to write that campaign. <laughs> of course, of course. Who is this guy? I don't know. He hasn't spoken for the whole bus ride. I think he can hear you. I found a sword. Seriously, Logan? I got a sword to share, but only if you think you can handle it. Son, we can handle anything. I can take whatever you got. Tell us your little tale. It's not a tale. It's a true story, and I would know. It's called the Sword of Saberhagen. Why do you like those flowers so much? I don't know. Ever since Grandfather showed us how to grow them, I can't help but take care of them. Father, why do we need a nanny? Why couldn't Grandfather just watch us instead? Because he has, because he's on a business trip of his own, and I have very important work in New York. What kind of work? Uh, I have to go get milk. In New York? Is it going to take you a while? I, I suspect it'll take me no more than a week. But Patricia is very well reviewed and highly experienced. Jesse, put those flowers down and come here. Kids, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Jesse and this is Mike. Hello, dear. My name is Patricia. Now, how old are you? I'm 13 and Mike is 6. Hello, dear. Would you like something sweet? Thank you. See, kids, I told you that P Patricia w would be a good nanny. Now, I must get going. I will see you later. Super sus. I don't know. I kind of like her. She seems nice. Kids, one second, though. Let's go to the library for a little while. The library? I love the library. Patricia is really cool, isn't she, Jess? Yeah. It's cool. Mm. Mikey, are you okay? 
My tummy hurts. Oh, you poor thing. Jesse, why don't you run along inside and find some books that Mikey will like? I can stay out here with you guys. No! I, I mean, no, that won't be necessary. Why don't you go on inside? It's okay, Jesse. I can stay out here. I'll let you know if I puke. Okay, I'll be right back. I know how that feels. And right now, I'm really hungry and you're looking rather tasty. What? calling to me. The sword of wisdom lightens loads but adds unto their risk. What's happening? The, the demons, demons of the underworld have searched for you. We will eat your soul. Heck no! the monster Jesse Saberhagen, granddaughter Fred Saberhagen, the most powerful demon hunter. Demon hunter? Your family thought that you could destroy us, <laughs> but they were terribly mistaken. We will eat you alive. <laughs> I know what you are, and I've always known. Jesse! I don't know. That's who I'm headed to see. You said you would know that was a true story. How would you know? That's weird. My phone just died. <laughs> Looks like your phone will be the only thing dying tonight! <laughs> Thank you. 